Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, I want to give a review of my favorite running shoes, the Nike Rival Waffle 6. So, let's go over why I got these. Prior to these, for a while I was using some Adidas Adi Zero. Let me go get them. These things right here, they're pretty, fairly lightweight, I guess, but they really were not like that high performance, I guess, in a large sense. Like the heel drop is kind of like high for a sprinting shoe, I guess. And these laces are kind of annoying and you see there's like a hole in them. So had to definitely get new ones, I think. And I at first I got the Nike um, uh, Infinity Run, yes, because that's what I was recommended at the Nike store I went to and I honestly hated those shoes. They had so much cushioning that whenever you stepped, you could just feel the foam compressing and lifting weights with them was extremely annoying because of how much they would compress. But I did some research, you know, I wanted shoes that were amazing for sprinting, you know, up to 100 meters really. And obviously not in the track, just for walking around kind of. And I landed upon the Nike Rival Waffle 6. These are supposed to be cross country racing shoes as you can see by the racing text and they're extremely lightweight and you just feel like a beast when you have these on and you really can just like run super fast with these the issue is i guess if you're a long distance runner these probably don't have the ideal amount of cushioning but i don't l run long distance so that's fine and i really wasn't a fan of this like white part of the design at first but it kind of grew on me i think the design is pretty cool it's very low profile and high performance looking and there's not really you know much compression that happens in the foam nothing noticeable honestly and so if you're lifting weight squatting you can't actually notice any compression so it's really good for that as well so you have excellent feel with the shoe you know anything you just like any power you like you know exert on the ground isn't lost through the shoe compressing like you'd get with the Nike um, Infinity Run. And it honestly, with the Infinity Run, it felt like it couldn't do anything besides just like slow paced running because it was complete garbage for anything else. Sprinting, if you try to sprint with that shoe, you just feel the sole compressing like crazy. It was terrible. And if you're walking, it's just like your your shoes are just keep on, keep on compressing. It's just garbage. And the heel drop was so bad, you know, you had the heel all the way up here and the sole was so thick. You know, I'm 6'1", so I don't need to, you know, <laughs> artificially add height to myself. And these have a heel drop of zero millimeters, so you're really getting the true natural balance of the foot with these shoes. And one thing, you know, that's kind of like finicky about these shoes is the fit in some sense. But aside from like, you know, these don't fit true to foot, so you want to order half a size up. I'm 10 and a half normally. I got 11 in these. But, you see, I have, like, them set up such that it goes through an extra hoop, like a runner's lace and stuff. But whenever you put these on, you kind of need to make sure that the lace is up here, or the part of the lace up here is, you know, set up correctly. Because it's really easy to put them on too tightly. And... They're not really kind of designed in, in a large sense to be everyday shoes. It's kind of like, you know, taking a Porsche GT3 RS or something out every day. Not that these are super expensive, but just a little bit of time might be needed to just make sure that these are not on too tight so you get, you know, a perfect fit without this part being too tight. And when, when you really do have that perfect fit in, it's just like, it feels so great on the foot. You have so much power. Not really, it's not, it's like in a sense that if you try to run outside bare feet and you know you just like smash your foot on the ground it might like hurt but these absorb you know anything that can really hurt your foot in a large sense without feeling too cushiony in the sense that you're losing power so i think that the, they're it's a really well designed shoe it's pretty inexpensive and you don't really see these kinds of shoes that much anymore with the racing flats you can see like the a6 onitsuka tiger but those are much heavier than these and you'd really there's really no way i think you'd want to get those over these aside from maybe styling and I, i've worn these for 
quite a while, mostly just walking, but like walking in Japan, you can see that there is quite a bit of sole wear on the back here. But it seems that there's still, you know, a good amount left, so it's not really a concern durability wise. And, you know, they've held up pretty well. This is the only, you know, thing maybe there's some, you know, threading sticking out. But also here, maybe there's like some slight damage, not sure. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of see it there. But it's like really minimal considering how far I've been wearing these. And there's no sign of any hole or anything of that nature like you might see with these shoes over here. You can like stick your finger in it. And yeah, I mean, I, the fit of these shoes also is not really optimized for racing or anything. Like the laces don't go that far back, so you're not getting the best support. And yeah, the sole is too high. I mean, really, these shoes are fantastic. You you won't really see these, you know, advertised that heavily, but I really think you should give them a try considering how, you know, easy they are to wear. I think they're some of the lightest weight shoes. They're like six ounces or something for uh, a weight 9.5 or something. And if you want to run, <laughs> run actual cross country or something, you can also get ones with the spikes on them. There's even the Dragonfly Nike, which is more expensive, which comes with spikes. And, you know, once this part wears out, you're going to be, like, left with a plastic surface there, which is not really what you want. So I really think, like, unless you're actually doing cross-country racing, these are a great shoe. If you, you know, like, for me, I'm a pretty fast sprinter, I guess, at least for someone who's not, like, on an actual track team. So, you know, it feels good to have shoes that don't really limit you in what you can do. It's kind of, like, increases confidence in some way. So, yeah, I mean, really, these shoes will, they might make you feel on top of the world, I'm not sure, it depends on what your needs are, but it's just such a high-performance shoe that I really do not think you can go wrong with it. Just make sure you order half a size up from what you normally get. That's it for me.